All right, everyone, we're here today and I am going to show you guys how to fill strip or in other words, break down any Glock and clean it. So I'll be giving you the do's and don'ts. All right. Now, first thing you want to do is get all the chicken finger juice off your hands. If your hands are greasy or sweaty, wash your hands right now. All right. <laughs> all right. The next thing I would suggest is if you're not familiar with doing this process, or this is like your first time or you only done it a couple of times, then do it at home while you're by yourself. All right. Less liability can happen if others are around. OK, now. When you're handling the firearm, you definitely want to point it in a direction where you can't hit anything. OK, so point it towards a corner of the room or the garage or, you know, down at the floor you know, anything like that, just in case if there is anybody, you know, standing around or on the other side of the wall or anything like that. OK, so make sure you do that. All right. So now that we got the obvious out of the way, first thing we're going to do is remove the magazine. All right. You want to do this first. If you carry with the round in the chamber, the reason why you want to take the magazine first, take it out first, is because when you go to eject the round out, you do not want to load another round in. So magazine comes out first. If you have a round in the chamber, make sure take the round out. All right. Check. Make sure it's clear. OK. All right. Now, what you want to do from here is you want to press the trigger okay all right you have to press the trigger on all glocks after you eject the magazine and clear the round out the chamber i can't say that enough all right guys do not want to shoot anybody all right so once you have the trigger depressed this is the easiest way to do it Okay, especially on camera. Take your right hand, fold it over the back of the slide. Okay. And you just want to pull back just a little bit. And you want to pull down the slide stop lever. All right. And then you notice your slide can slide forward now. Okay. All right, so we'll do it once again. After you clear the magazine, clear the round out the chamber, press the trigger. All right. Take your free hand, wrap it around the back of the slide, and just pull just a little bit. And depress here. That tab is on both sides, so you want to pull it down on both sides at the same time and then your slide will slide right off okay now if you have a cleaning kit that'll work great okay that's the easiest way to do it but if you don't uh, you can actually clean the inside of your gun with baby wipes not disinfectant wipes but baby wipes okay the marines they use baby wipes so they actually clean and break down their guns um and clean it with baby wipes so there's a hack for you guys all right you can thank me later <laughs> all right so now what you want to do is if you want to give it a good cleaning go ahead and remove your recoil spring so you press here with your thumb Hold it there and pull up. Okay. And then you just slide it out of the way. Now you can take your fingertips and grab the lugs of the barrel, push forward, and then slide out. So typically, when you're cleaning your gun, that's all you pretty much need to do as far as the upper is concerned this slide is called the upper all right and then there's other components inside here 
but you don't have to break all of those down uh, just to do a cleaning of your firearm all right and if it's not real dirty then you don't even need to take the barrel or the dual recoil spring out you can just do a quick cleaning okay uh, now what I like to do is I like to tear off a small piece of a paper towel all right and my cleaning kit came with some nitro solvent cleaner so I'll just shake it up a little bit open it up I'll just fold this over dab a little bit on then you just wipe off the outside of the barrel wipe lugs And stuff it dries pretty fast too and it'd also be good to have another rag handy just in case you want to wipe it down Alright, so that takes care of the outside of the barrel. Now, if you get a good cleaning kit, it's going to have you one of these on here. It's going to have threads at the end. And it will come with a few attachments. Alright, now, if you shoot your gun on a regular basis, or fairly regularly, then inside the barrel, you don't have to worry about cleaning that. Because it will actually blow all of that stuff out. Alright. But if you do want to clean it, you just grab your barrel, grab an attachment, see which one fits. All right. You just run it through and that's it all right we'll take our solvent already got some solvent on there and then we'll wipe inside You'll see the gunpowder coming off on your baby wipe or your paper napkin, whatever you're using. And then I just fold it over and then I wipe in here. You can also use Q-tips as well. All right, so side is clean, barrel is clean. All right, you don't really have to worry about the recoil spring, but if you just wanna wipe the outside off, give it a quick wipe, that's fine. But normally I don't mess with the recoil spring, all right? Then you want to grab your lower or your receiver and you just do the same thing and you just wipe out all the areas that you can get to and a little bit of that solvent goes a long way. And sometimes uh, the cleaning kits, they come with little pads on the inside um, that you can actually use instead of a napkin. but some reason my kit comes with the little wiping pads but I always use a napkin just I can go a lot faster all right 
Then you can wipe the back of your trigger bar. It doesn't take a lot. Um, I usually clean my guns every 200 rounds or so. Uh, some guys clean their guns every, you know, 1,000 rounds, 500 rounds. Um, I just like to clean mine out a little bit more frequently. All right, guys, you flip it over if you want. And then you can actually go inside the mag well. Just get any dust or anything from out of there. All right, so it's clean now. So basically what we'll do is just put a little bit of oil in certain areas, okay? Now, the gun kit actually comes with oil, but I don't use that, so I'll give you another hack. You can thank me later. Motor oil. It lasts longer than the oil that comes in the gun cleaning kits, and there's no problems with it. All right, think about it. If it's good enough for your engine and those moving parts, it is definitely overkill for a firearm. All right. And you only need a little bit of this stuff, but you just have to find a way to put it in a little container. So I typically use one of these containers with the flip up top. All right. So what I like to do is I'll just start off with my slide. I start way in the back. I put a drop on each side. That's all you need. And then you hold your slide up or prop it up and it's gonna run down the rails, okay? And then also when you put your gun on and you slide it back together, it's gonna push the oil down, okay? So you don't need to go crazy with this stuff because it will be running out of your trigger area and you know the sides of the gun if you lay the gun on the side uh, where you have it in your house or in your car, all right? so. All it takes is one time to go crazy and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so you take a little bit and I'll just go with one. It didn't come out. One drop there. One drop there. All right. And then sometimes I'll just hold it up a little bit, let it, let it start its way down. Okay, that's good enough. I'll put a little bit on this this bottom step on the lug of the barrel, all right? Just a little bit. If you put too much, you can just wipe it. Wipe it off, all right? Go a step further, you can put it, you know, on your barrel. You don't have to. All right. But sometimes the nitrile solvent just makes it a funny looking color uh, once it starts drying off a little bit. So if you just put a light coat of oil on the part of the barrel that shows through the slide, you know, it just keeps everything looking good. All right. Now we got the upper done. So you grab your lower. All right. Now. When you put your slide on and it rides on these rails, the motor oil that you put in there or the oil that you put in, it's gonna slide all the way down, all right? So you don't even need to put any here, okay? Um, the only place I put it on the lower is back here where the trigger connector engages the trigger bar, all right, and your sear, okay? So all I usually do is take one little drop and just put it right 
there. And then I let it work its way down. And then also your firing pin engages right here. So sometimes I'll just you know put a little bit right there. Keep everything nice and smooth. All right, that's it for your lower. Now you can start putting everything back together. First thing you want to do is take your barrel. Slide it forward and pull it back. All right. You want to take your recoil spring seat it in the housing up here in the front it's a little groove that it goes in and then you want to push it in and drop it down in that bottom lug all right make sure it's in the bottom one so that way when you go to put everything back together it engages properly all right so now you got everything together as far as your upper you got everything nice and clean grab your lower receiver make sure you line everything up Check both sides. You just start sliding it back. Give it a little wiggle slide. There you have it, guys. Everything is all cleaned and lubricated. And normally, you know, to do a full cleaning like that, unless you're shooting a inexpensive or a bad quality of ammo some ammo is more dusty than others all right as far as the gunpowder that blows out of it and some of it shoots more clean so if you're using pretty good ammo um, you won't have a lot of gunpowder you'll, you'll get some gunpowder but if you go to the range and let's say you shoot you know 50 rounds you don't even have to worry about cleaning your gun you know um, if you shoot a hundred rounds and the rounds are kind of dusty, you know, then you might want to just do a little quick cleaning. You don't even have to take the barrel and the recoil spring out. All right. But that's it guys. And that'll work on any Glock. So carry responsibly. You guys have a great one.